Hey everybody, welcome back. We're doing uh, we're doing okay in Isaac. You know, there's some ups, there's some downs, there's some get downs, <laughs> get downs and move it all arounds. For example, from the Backstreet Boys, um, it's tainted, lost, but at least it's only to Blue Baby. Um, that's I mean, it's doable. You know how I know it's doable because we freaking did it. And if we lose, we'll just you know go do something else. That's how she goes, man. Uh, it is a Tuesday today. I got excited for a second. That's a great item, by the way. Um, I got excited for a second forgetting what day it was. Thought it might be... Oh, no. That's not worth it. <laughs> Thought it might be a Wednesday. Thought it might be Survivor night. We'll have to wait one extra night to see what happens on Survivor this week. Sorry to... I mean, maybe when you're watching this, it might be a Wednesday. Actually, I think it might be a Thursday when you're watching this, if you're watching this when it comes out, but... Uh, if you're watching this on Thursday, please no spoilies. Don't spoil it for me. Shot speed up. One makes you larger. Little judgment, little fool, little judgment, little fool. You know what? A fool card's pretty sick in this era, when we've already lost our, uh... Our holy card, because we can now teleport out of a cursed room. You never know what you could get in there. Keep in mind, there's one... You don't know what you can get, but you know what you can't get as Tainted Lost. And what you can't get is respawn items. Don't die. Court them and then back away. We're just going to be demure. We're going to court them. We're going to back away. We're going to court them. We're going to back away. That's what I was both looking forward to and afraid of. <laughs> there is a holy card on the shop. But in order to get a holy card, we need to get to five cents. Or a single bomb. I think it's worth basically shooting everything we got to try to make this happen. Obviously, first we gotta live here. Just go, just go. There you go. Flies are no big deal, man. I know I'm I'm courting uh, humorous comedic timing when I say something like that, but we're just gonna just gonna take our sweet time. We're trying to keep them wedged, you know. If if we can get if we can always shoot on the outside edge of the of the gurgling as they charge they will hit the wall lose all their momentum and die easily hmm. i'm willing to take one stab at it okay well you know what it is what it is i was hoping it would be regular judgment one single penny could pay out with a bomb then we could blow up the donation machine and get a holy card instead we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way we're gonna have to Take our time a little bit here. Just chill, chill, chill. Needed that one. There we go. I mean, we never should have lost the uh, the holy card effect so early uh, to to basically nothing. But it, maybe we'll we can't go back in time, so we'll treat it as the you know a learning lesson. Treat it as a wake up call and start trying to play better. Of course, now we have everything we could possibly need to get a holy card from the shop so inevitably and this is not sour grapes this is just how you know the isaac seems to work at the very least um inevitably we will now encounter zero holy cards and that's fine spore shots i think are pretty good but yeah feeling feeling good sounding admittedly not as good as i feel let's just put it that way but i i do feel uh, copium Maybe? Oh my god. But I, I feel like... Oh my god. Tainted lost uh, birthright. We need it. We need it. That is going to be enough. Okay, so that's basically like a holy card as well. Ruins our donation machine for the rest of the run, but very, very important when we have no other options. Um, I really feel like, like every day... I, I go to bed at like a, a 5 out of 10 and I wake up at like an 8. And then I kind of, d throughout the day, I use my life force, I exchange my life force for labor, and I, uh, you know, gradually come back down to, you know, about a 5. But then when I wake up, I'm at like a 9, you know? Please give me a holy card, man. Please. So I'm actually like, I, I it might take, you know, longer. It happens then I'd like, um, but I know we're on the way back up. Just keep adjusting up my time scale, you know? It was like, oh, you know, I hope I'm 100% by next week. Now it's more like, uh, I'm sure I'm gonna be 100% by Christmas. <laughs> we'll get there. It's only, you gotta remember, it's only December 7th today. Plenty of time, man. Plenty of time. 
We will not be going to a cursed room. Now, Birthright, it might seem like a heavy cost, right? That it's 15 cents for a holy card. I oftentimes feel like people do not evaluate things the proper way. Is 15 cents for Birthright that does almost, that technically it does damage to everything in the room, so it probably kills whatever killed you as well, but um, is it a good value when there's 5 cent holy cards? No. Uh, which is why, if there was a 5 cent holy card, I would have bought it. Um, as there was no 5 cent holy card, I think 15 cents for the ability to stay alive actually seems like a pretty amazing value. Um, what in the game could have a better utility than literally allowing us to persevere? A tears upgrade? I don't think so. So we can, we should, we should take a look. We should take Guppy's head. Becoming Guppy is like, you know, end game level strategy for us. And I'm not talking about Thanos. Apologies for the sniffles, by the way. I apologize for the sniffles. We, we gotta peep this. We might as well do it now. Just wait. It could pop any second. There we go. Um, not exactly what I wanted, but, you know, money's, money's good. Money's important. Had a good day on stream today. Just a random smattering of Super Auto Pets just to get me in the groove. Like... You know, it's just an easy game to play. And then we followed that up with a game that's very stressful for me. We went cave diving in the new Minecraft update. Dude, I had a great time. I, I saw some dang blocks I've never seen before in my life. I even maybe saw some biomes I never saw before in my life. Did I possibly, uh, many people are saying this, corner the market on Amethyst and thus guarantee myself a role in the world of commerce on, a, on our multiplayer server? Mm, maybe yes, maybe no. Yes. But Minecraft legit, like, there's, I don't know why it's like the scariest game on the planet. I think it's because it, it flows, real voice, <clears throat> I think it's because it flows uh, so quickly, like it, it, it oscillates from mundane toiling, not in a bad way, because I, I find it, you know, kind of meditative, but, um, it, it goes from mundane toiling to, like, existential fear at the drop of a hat. Hey, that's pretty good, because we're going to get perfection as well. This is the scary part of a run where I'm starting to believe a little bit. Like, there's nothing like you're just chilling in the mines, you know, you're like, Hey, let me get uh, bacon, egg, and cheese, salt, and pepper, ketchup, mayo on a roll. Yes, sir. And then all of a sudden you hear, like, rah, and then there's, like, a... You know, a nest of cave spiders next to you. You're like, what the heck? I've got, like, andesite on my quick bar. I don't even have a sword. Pretty spicy. I'm willing to I'm willing to spend. I am. And I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, I think restock is quite the buy, honestly. Because now we have one, and it's not, like, guaranteed. It might pay out one or less times on this run, but... Now we have an actual engine to generate more opportunities to get uh, holy cards. Because if we don't like our first card at three or five cents, we get another one at uh, like six, I think. Uh, and again, I would pay my net worth for a holy card. In, in most situations, at least. Not, not my IRL net worth. I mean, like, you know... Isaac's important to me, but I don't know if it's, you know, as important as, uh, survival. Probably, probably less important, I would say. Caffeine pill? Do we know? We don't know what it is. We, we gotta take it, right? Book of Belial? I'm, I'm happier having the flies. Take me down. I would, I would pay 29 cents for a holy card. Especially considering we'd probably get like four cards in advance of it as well. But honestly, like, especially when you look at the fact that we got, uh... We got perfection now with Ghost Pepper. This run is actually kinda cracked. No guarantees, obviously. Like, it's still not an easy task to never get hit, like, basically ever. <laughs> but, you know, we're, we're definitely starting to get to the range at least, where you're like, you know, a, a couple of well-timed holy cards could start to take this from uh, unlikely territory to, like, we can start to, you know, plan the parade routes through 
through Vancouver, much like we're doing now that uh, Bruce Boudreaux has taken over as the head coach of the of the Vancouver Canucks. I've said it before, I'm not a gambling man, but I did mention, it was, I don't know if it was like a week ago or, or three days ago, I mentioned to Simpson Mouth that uh, there was like a, on the website that allows you to bet in British Columbia legally, uh, which I, and this, I'm being sincere, literally never used it, but I saw it on the Canucks subreddit. You know what? That seems pretty important here. There was a, uh, a bet for what will happen first. The Canucks fire their head coach or this barge that washed up on the shore during the atmospheric river, like those crazy rainstorms we had, would be removed by the city. I was like, dude, it, look, don't get me wrong. Like that barge has got to go at some point. I'm sure that it's like a, a genuine like operational risk to have it so close to human beings. I'm going for it, man. Uh, yeah, like it's just I, I don't even know that it, I get a barge is the is a barge the right word? It's like a shipping container on a boat <laughs> that washed up on the beach. You could look it up. Just search like Vancouver barge. You'll find it. But the the bet was paying out like three to one that the barge would be moved first, and I was like, man, I am honestly stunned that they haven't fired Travis Green yet, even at that time. I thought about it. I was like, you know, you put a, a little bit of money on the, them firing the coach first. It pays out three to one. They were tempting odds. I would have been right. But I will also say, I, I hate that line of reasoning where people are like, you know, ah, oh, I thought of doing this thing and I didn't do it. And then that's fine. We're alive. Losing perfection was way worse there. Just just a, a scuttled dodge. But And I don't think I'm going to grab that item in the boss trap room. I'm just a little too frightened right now. We just need to get to our next shop so we can possibly get a chance at a holy card. Um, but people always do that, right? Oh, I thought of... Uh Oh, in 2012, my friend told me about Bitcoin. I was totally going to buy Bitcoin, but then I just slipped my mind. If I'd bought it, I'd be like a billionaire now. Yeah, well, I mean, if you bought it and then, I guess, held it until literally today. If you didn't sell any along the way, maybe, sure. But also, like, you got to, if in order to be, and this is more in the interest of being fair to yourself than anything else. But to be fair, you have to compare it with every idea you've ever had that you didn't do that would have turned out terribly. You know, there's probably plenty of things you thought about doing that you didn't do. Okay. And then, when you looked back on it, you probably never did look back on it, because you decided not to do it, and then you figured, like, okay, well, like, that doesn't take up space in my mind share anymore. Um, but if you look back and you're like, oh, I did it, or if I had done it, I would have, like, lost 20% of my net worth or something like that. You know, you gotta look at situations like that. feel like you only notice the, the opportunity cost when it pays out as a loss for you, right? In your head. You're like, think about how much this would have changed my life. Yeah, but think about, like, you know, when you were all in on, like, BitConnect or something like that. Ima imagine if you'd tough that one out. I think you'd be sitting, I don't really know the ins and outs of it, but I'm pretty sure it got, you know, shut down as, like, a scam and you'd be sitting at zero. So you gotta be kind to yourself, you know? You can't see the future. So I always laugh like in Super Auto Pets or something like that. You know, in the shop, you make a decision. You're like, hey, there's two different ways this could go. I'm going to err on the side of like this one. You know, I'm going to buy like a scorpion instead of a, a snake or, a, or something like that. Then, you know, you play a team that's uniquely predisposed to crush scorpions. Like, you get, you know, a, a dolphin or something just blows it out, and people are like, well, if you had the snake, you would have won. Yeah, and if, you know, I could see into the future, I wouldn't be here playing this dang game. I'd be, you know, on a on a yacht somewhere, just cruising through the Maldives. But, it, you know, if you could see the future, you'd use it for, certainly, I hope, more interesting things than just, uh, you know, making yourself better as super auto pets. But what do I know? Okay, um, we, we have to obviously make a decision at some point. I do want to look for a holy card, but... Pardon me, I think I'm kind of tapped out. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna take one moment here. I'm gonna pause. Alright, and we're back. Just a little nasal clearing. Uh, I, what, what do we have down here? Lover's card, just pop it, get it out of there. Devil card, stars card. 
I think I'd like the stars card the most for now. Because at least... You know what? We get, let's, let's start spending our, a little bit of our resources right here instead. Okay. Can't say I'm surprised, quite frankly. Uh, what, what do you got? One? One chest? One ch You know what? I'm going to pop it. And then bail. I thought that was a better chance because we could have maybe gotten a guppy item. Even though nine lives can't appear, I thought there was... There was maybe some utility involved there. Very interesting. Moon teleports us out. Okay, so, I mean, I'm... I wanted to be clear. I've taken hits at two idiotic intervals here. I'm disappointed. Like, we should have at least one holy card. Uh, and that is not what you want to see there. Uh, we should have at least one bit of holy card protection available to us. But we don't. So, like, no use crying about it. Please, uh, thank you. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Just one more of those. Thank you so much. I'm going to engage the cross here. There we go. And one more, please. Wonderful. Just handled properly. Uh, I'm really trying to, to get what needs to be gotten. Don't forget, you can get on top of the spikes. <laughs> But we're not there yet. Certainly, like, a, there, there's a little bit more to go. Like, one holy card, man. I'm just, I'm begging you. It would hit the spot. It's not an unreasonable task to win a game as Tainted Lost, okay? But it's just, it's not easy, that's for sure. <laughs> Devil, Wheel of Fortune, Fool. Coins and bombs may be dropped as more, okay? Or boom, if possible. I don't think we want it. I could be. Maybe we can get some luck upgrades out of it. Oh my god. Don't, you took my key, you piece. Have we always had this much money? I really don't feel comfortable paying 17 cents for more curse rooms. Um, I don't think you can pay out with cards. I think I might be wrong. I thought only fortune tellers could do it. I think the devil card is okay. I mean, this is deeper than I'll, I usually have to dig in order to find the seam required to have a good chance of winning, okay? But it is what it is. You gotta, you gotta play the run you got, not the run you wish you had. Anyway, I forget what I was talking about. Oh yeah, you, like, I don't know. These people, I think they give themselves too much hassle, but also too much credit, you know? It's always like, oh, I was one decision away from being a millionaire. Well, yeah, I think, like, a lot of people are literally, like, one decision away from being a millionaire. Just depends on the severity of the decision and, like, the likelihood that you would have done it in the first place, right? That's why, like, I had a... I've, I've talked about it probably a thousand times, but I had a friend who was, like, insanely into Bitcoin in 2010. Uh, and I... You know, he was trying to get me into it. And I was... Not really, like, poo-pooing it, but I was, like... You know, it's that fallacy where like you know at the time i was like hey i'm dead man okay I'm, i wasn't dead at the time just to be clear just run me back with regular isaac we honestly i think we gave it a good effort there and we weren't that far away from success but um i was just like yeah i don't know it seems like it especially at the time it was like Maybe the reason it ended up being such an opportunity was because of the fact that it seems so insane. It's like, it's literally just like, you know, notes in a ledger. You gotta, you know, turn your computer into a space heater in order to get some. You really want me to, you want me to trade one hard-earned Canadian dollar for one Bitcoin? Are you crazy? But the reason I don't beat myself up over it, like, at all, I mean, I guess first off, there's, like, what's the point? But then secondly, I'm not the kind of person that would have held, you know, from a dollar until whatever it was, it, or is it its peak? I don't know. I would have, it would have gotten to, like, five bucks, and I would have been like, I'm out, 5x, let's go, you know? I just see that was the kind of person, at least, I, I was going to say it's the kind of person I am, but maybe it's the kind of person I... I was certainly at age 20. I'd be, and I, you're not necessarily, I mean, looking back, you'd be like, it's idiotic, but at the time, again, you're like, how do I know? You know, 5X is a great investment. Anyway, so I think people like that, you know, it's like playing the lottery and being like, you were one number off. Like, you weren't really one number off. You were like, 
you know, one times the number of numbers that it could have been in that position off. Plus, don't care, didn't ask, plus your ball. Anyway, sorry, I'm just recalibrating from, from the loss there. It didn't shake me too much, but, uh, you know, starting from zero, 20 minutes into a run. I'm really just pacing myself, because, like, I, I think it would be very easy to just get disillusioned with Isaac right now. Because, you know, ugh, I've done it. Uh, so why would I do this, by the way? I don't know, because I didn't want Loki's horns, and then it gave me another item, and I said, okay, you have no respect for me, let's prove it. Kill me. You know, if you, if you don't want me to take an item that does nothing? Okay, give me an item that's worse than that, and let's let's dance with the devil. That, if that's the way you want to play the game, then let's play the game like that. I don't know if you have to be coy with it. Hey, we've added three damage upgrades in a game with 3,000 items. What are you complaining about? Oh, nothing. I'll do, I'll do whatever I have to do, I suppose. Okay. Just remember, Cursed Eye, genuinely bad. There was a time I, I used to believe this item was actually good. I don't know what was wrong with me. That being said, it can be kind of fun. And sometimes, you know, being forced to focus a little bit more can actually be advantageous. There's a little bit of a source, dude, just trust me. All that falls by the wayside the first time you almost kill a boss, get hit at the very end, and then teleport out and have to do it all over again, but... Come on, work with me here. Work with me. I'm keeping some HP for some eddy rooms in the future. We don't really have the resources to play them now. I would totally check a curse room. I would totally play some blood banks. There, I, I mean, I'm going off, okay? There's just too many <laughs> times like that. I, I, does nobody see how fricked up this is? We used to we used to be a country, a proper country. That's the meme, right? We, but genuinely, not not the genuinely. We used to be a proper country. I'm not sure if we, if we ever were. Um, okay, this should be bad and fun. However, it used to be excited to like open things in this game. I got a chest, Pog, a chest. It's here. You know what I'm talking about? Nowadays, every time I get like a red chest, I'm like, I don't know, there's like a 75% chance it actually just irritates me that I opened it to begin with. When when did this happen, man? When did we... I don't know if it's me, is the game, combination of both. By the way, I know people are going to be like, combination of both. Just taking the middle path doesn't make you enlightened, you know? You got to provide some evidence, you know, to, to support or... or or, uh, what's the word? Rebut the situation. Can't just be like, yeah, it's probably somewhere in the middle. I think they genuinely made tinted rocks and red chests too bad. Not too bad, but worse than they should be. At least when you consider how difficult... Oh, my lanta. I did it to, I, this one I did to myself. I can't really be mad. Um, at least when you consider the enhanced difficulty of the characters... And I, again, I, it's always the thing is like, how do you make Isaac be hard, but still feel fun and like satisfying? And I'll acknowledge like, it's a tough question. Cause you know, winning is like always pretty fun and losing usually feels pretty bad. But when, you know, I don't know if it's a good solution that like when I lose now, I'm like, oh, it's cause all the things that used to be good now have two spiders in them, but. Maybe, maybe I'm belly aching. It's been suggested, sure. At least I'll always have my trusty three skull Monty. Am I right? Am I right? Oh, I am right. Who would have thought? Hold on, I feel a sneeze coming on. I feel a sneeze coming on. Achoo! What did I tell you? I'm going to throw a quick pause in. One moment, please. All right, we are back again and rejuvenated, all sneezed out. Oh, oh, oh. Anyway, like just being away from the computer for like that one minute that I was gone there, I feel like I'm like I'm desalinated from Isaac. <laughs> I don't need to win every run. It's just annoying that like one of the 
nerfs to the game is like, hey, all these things that are, you know, symbolic with bounty and treasure and blah, blah, blah are now like, you know, surprise. It's all the monkey's paw. Be careful what you wish for. But I digress, okay? Like, we don't need... It's a game I love. I, I criticize because I love. We're now well past the point where, like, I have an obligation to play Isaac. It's it's a, genuinely a labor of love right now. Like, compare the the performance of uh, an Isaac episode to the perform performance of, a, like, a Super Auto Pets VOD, and then tell me that, like, I don't like the game. <laughs> Am I getting a little burned out on runs that... Uh, seem to provide more, you know, low utility items than others? Sure. Can you blame me? I don't know. Why Walk 4,000 miles in my shoes before you do, please. You know, do a dodge like that before you do, and then we can talk. That's all I ask. Not that way either, huh? It's okay, it's okay. Anyway, I'm doing well, like, sincerely. It is a, it's a Tuesday. I think we mentioned that 40 minutes ago when this run started. It is a Tuesday. We're on the second floor of the game. That's a good sign. Help me. Don't. This is a bad boss for teleportation. We could get hit by bullets very, very easily while we wait to charge. That's why, like, tears upgrades are so important. Okay. I will definitely take deals with the devil. I got nothing against that right now. Don't. 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 don't, 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 don't. Look. You think you can fool me, you son of a gun? I'll have you know, I've played, uh... Ika Ruga. I've played Gradius 3. I've played R-Type on the Sega Master System. I've trained classically and contemporaneously. You're nothing! I'm just gonna be completely real with you. Is actually just a fun item. And because it's a fun item, I'm gonna take it. Oh, excuse me, double flies? I'm not even mad. Like, like I'm just wondering why. Double flies? For sucking up the D6? For humbling bundle? No, that would be... That would be nutty. Anyway. This is what I wanted. Take me out of here. Not too worried about the the blood bank, to be honest. At this point, I'm out, I'm very much reaching this point where, like, if the game doesn't want to have like slot machines pay out, have a nice life. <laughs> I'm done chasing you down. You don't want me to get HP and then a little bit of a speed upgrade. You want me to spend 20 minutes playing a, a regular slot machine? Nah, no, get bent. Have a nice life, okay? It's, uh, life's too short to deal with that. Someone was here before me. They already extinguished the fires. You guys excited for the Game Awards this Thursday? I I really have become... Like, I... I j like, was, yesterday was Monday, okay? We, we had tickets to the Canucks game. Um because we are quarter season ticket holders. So every once in a while, you know, you, there's some games you really want to be at, right? Like, I think we got a, we got tickets to see the Canucks play the Oilers. That's going to be a lot of fun, even if we get blown out because the Oilers are a better team. But it's always fun to see, you know, McDavid and Dreisaitl, you know, they're just, you, you got to admire the skill. However, for every good game like that, not that yesterday's uh, game wasn't good, but... For every game like that, you also get, like, a Monday 7 p.m. tilt against the Los Angeles Kings, right? Uh, we opted last minute not to go to the game because we weren't feeling well. We were being responsible. And we don't know anybody <laughs> to, to give the tickets to. Uh, we've already exhausted our network because uh, we were sick for the last game we were supposed to go to as well. Um, but... It was crazy. Like, I, I, you know, we ate last night. I got into bed. Got into bed, checked my phone, and it was like, the third period's over. The Canucks win 4-0. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm in bed. And were it not for, like, this, uh, you know, little bit of sniffliness. Thank you so much for this, by the way. Were it not for this little bit of sniffliness that we got going on here, I would have been there, like, passing out in my seat. Dude, come on. You could do better. You could do better. 
Like, I'm, I'm fully... Whatever, man. I'm going for it. I'm fully, like, old from a sleep schedule standpoint. And and the thing that's so messed up as well is that not only am I, like, old, I'm, I'm like, old and loving it. I'm actually just going to snag this. That way, I get to keep the Horror of Babylon effect. Like, this morning, I think I woke up at, like, 6.45 a.m. before my alarm and was not very, but I was, like, slightly mad at myself. I was like, oh, I slept in, like, a little bit by only waking up 30 minutes before I'm supposed to. And, all, like, I'm actually here for it. Like, I feel like my life has improved as a result of that. Um, little dumpy? Like, don't make me laugh. Now, the catch is, at, like, you know, normal people hours, I am dead. <laughs> like, the fact that the Game Awards, I think it starts at, like, 7 Pacific. I'm like, are you insane? 7 Pacific? It might not be over till, like, 10, 10.30. I'll just catch the... I'll just catch the Wikipedia article after it. Like, time... Life comes at you fast, man. I'm willing... Oh, I, I can't even get to that pill. Let's not worry about taking it if we can't even get to it. Um... The Game Awards I always have such a strange relationship with. I don't really care about, like, awards shows in general. I don't, I don't care what wins a Grammy or an Oscar. But as I work in the games industry, you know, I'm not, a, like, a journalist, but I, I do work in the games industry. I always have, like, opinions on what wins and, you know, what doesn't, what gets nominated, even. It's still just so weird to me that... And, and nothing really against it, because I always find it entertaining. Like, sometimes people, they, they'll accuse me of being, like, a little bit of a snob about the Game Awards. They're like, you know, oh, why are you being such a hater about the Game Awards? You know, you're always making fun of the fact they always nominate the same six uh, studios for Game of the Year. Can't you just accept they're the only people making interesting stuff in this entire industry? Well, no, I don't. But also, then I, like, ask people, oh, what do you do with the Game Awards? They're like, oh, me and my friends get drunk on Discord and mock all the trailers. And I'm like, well, you know, we're not so different. <laughs> I don't really want to be here anymore, but at least this gives us another fly. I want to do at least pick it up. You're making fun of it too, you're just putting on a holier-than-thou attitude until like the trailer for Forza Horizon 5 DLC comes on, and then you're going, car, drink, drink, they showed a car. Then when your, your friend starts to go, you know, drink, there's a horse, you go, shut the heck up. You shut up, this is Elden Ring, we shut up during the trailer. During this ad, you must be silent. This is sacred. But it's it's just always strange to me that the Game Awards are, like, straddling this line between, like, advertisement and achievement, right? I don't even... Like, all... The, the industry is just weird to begin with. I don't... Like, all industries in media, I guess, are. But, you know, gaming for sure has this strange overlap where games are art, but they're also product and commodity. It's not to say it's not the case in movies, but I think uh, games are actually a little bit more like... I mean, unique in the sense that the games that are reviewed the best by traditional press outlets tend to also be the ones that end up getting nominated for these kinds of awards, which is very much not the case um, well, I guess like, what I mean is, they, like, games have it all, you know? Like, if a game gets, uh, if a game is from a major studio, gets a 90 on Metacritic, it's gonna be nominated for a game of the year, and also it's probably gonna sell pretty well. We've had enough Zayn in our lives. I think, at least. That, you know, there's counterexamples, I'm sure, but that, that's my, my hunch. Source dude, just trust me. Whereas in movies... Typically, it is not, like, the biggest blockbuster of the year that gets nominated for Best Picture. In fact, when something like that happens, it's kind of like a, it's a surprising moment. It has happened. You know, Titanic was the biggest grossing film of all time until, like, Avatar came out. Uh, and also won, I don't know, like, 11 Oscars or something crazy. But usually it's, like, you know, the biggest movie of the year is like Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom, and then, you know, nominated for the Academy Awards for Best Picture, it's like, you know, seven movies that made $8 million at the box office. So it, it's no surprise to me, I guess. 
I'm sucking that up, man. Uh, that the Oscars take on a little bit more of like, this is about an appreciation for film. But the Game Awards are, are kind of like, I don't know, stuck in the middle. And I, some people might like the vibe that they got. But for me, it's, it, it's always just strange that it's like half like, hey, we're going to give away like unbiased awards. And the other half of it is like, Here's some ads from some studios who paid us to show the content, you know? I, I don't mean to be so cynical as to say it's merely a vessel to deliver advertisements. I'm actually happy that there's, like, some kind of digestible event where you can kind of keep up with all the reveals without having to watch five straight days of, like, E3 coverage, which, quite frankly, I just don't have the willpower for right now. Just to see if they're going to add, you know, Chie into Persona 5 or whatever. Like, I, I like that there's one night that encapsulates it all. I just think it's bizarre that it's also the night where we're, like, objectively going to decide what the best game of the year is. I'm not suggesting anything untoward. It's just normally, you know, the industry pretends that it doesn't have, like, you know, a foot on each side. And we are like, no, 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 there's a wall in the middle. But the Game Awards, we're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Game of the Year goes to, you know, this, like, Bandai Namco game. By the way, here's a reveal for Bandai Namco's new game. I'm not... And again, I want to be clear. I'm not saying... I, I genuinely, I'm not even trying to insinuate. I know that... The way that most people do that is to like get you know, plausible deniability, but I'm I'm more saying I genuinely don't think that happens. At least because I don't know why why would a studio pay to uh, give their game game of the year the game awards when you just do it uh, for free? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> or alternatively, you know, like. Why would Jeff Keighley and, and the studios take a bribe to give something Game of the Year when, you know, literally they're being paid to basically show the commercials? I don't know. It just seems... It, it's one of those things where we were talking about it on the stream today where somebody was like, I work at a casino that's currently being investigated by the Nevada Gaming Commission. And I was like, honest question, if you run a casino, why would you commit fraud? Like, you're, you run a business where people are happy to come in and give you a dollar... And they have a smile on their face if you give them, like, 90 cents back. All you had to do was let them sit in the chair for, like, five minutes. Like, you're, you're, it's, a, it's a dream business. Why would you screw it up by committing fraud? I'm sucking it up, man. Anyway, I guess the answer is greed. But I, I genuinely, I'm not trying to cast that aspersion on the Game Awards. It's just... It's weird that it sits in both camps, is all I'm saying. But you gotta acknowledge as well, you know, the, the industry didn't really have anything. I, the, the closest other thing to the Game of the Year awards, I think, is like the it's the AIAS awards that are given out at GDC. And like genuinely, those ones are like, oh, no, no, no. I was so close. <laughs> those ones are not, I don't mean to be rude, but they're so far on like the developer side as to be, you know, perhaps unrelatable for the average consumer. Maybe you agree, maybe you disagree, but maybe you have no idea what the AIAS awards are, in which case you're probably also like, you know, you know, fair enough. Maybe I have no idea what the AIAS awards are and I'm basing this all on false knowledge, but. Anyway, what was I talking about? I don't know, Game Awards Thursday. Either way, it doesn't really matter that much because I will not be watching them. Or maybe I'll be watching, but I will not be streaming. And probably I will fall asleep before the end. That's my expectation. I My review is... And this is to be fair... Oh, excuse me, I have a message here I might need to reply to. This this just never ends, huh? Like, this, this video is just never going to get done. But... Uh, my review of basically everything on Earth right now, not quite everything, but basically everything on Earth right now is not worth screwing up my sleep schedule for. This thing looks cool, but is it cool enough for me to blow up my sleep schedule? Oh, no, no, no. Very little is. I can think of a couple of things. I won't regale you with them here. Hedgehog building super auto pets? Maybe. Maybe that's one of them. Beautiful play. 
Charge it up. Charge it up. Wait for the foot. You got... Well, you, no, no, no. Don't wait for the foot. You got plenty of time. We're going... Streamer room. Uh, Holy mantle, without a doubt. We. Everybody wants you to use the void. You can only use it for one item. You'll only get one fly. Source dude, just trust me. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Why are neither of these good? Honestly, hear me out here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go crazy. Like Prince. Like the song, not the guy. The guy did make the song, but anyway. I'm gonna create two passive items. So I can suck them both up, turn them into flies. Might as well donate a little bit of money here. I can't believe we're 40 minutes into this run. Dude, I'm like... This is the run that never ends. It, it goes on and on, my friends. Some people started singing it not knowing what it was, and they'll continue singing it forever, I suppose, just because. This run has been somewhat kind to us. I can't be upset. Although, as is always the case, I would caution you. Please remember, when the game does uh, wrong by us, I'm quick to call it out. When the game does right by us, I'm like, they didn't do that. I did it. I chose to take Void because I thought it would be fun. The game didn't do anything. Well, I guess it did give me the option. I'm well aware, by the way, I don't think this item is called Void. <laughs> I forget what it's called. Swirly? Something like that. Okay, just give me my item room. This, this charade has gone on long enough. This charade has gone on long enough. Well, in the post-patch world, several of the items have more damage. The top 10% of the items have a more positive impact on a run than the bottom 90% put together. Does this seem fair to you? Flash Isaac, sure, it had its warts. But at least you could reliably get Max's head, for example. What happened to this Max's head? <coughs> Ooh, let's wait maybe tomorrow. We'll bring that back. Capricorn, huh? That's pretty good. All right, that's an item. I would like to recant my previous statement. Thank you. We did lose Horror Babylon by picking it up, though. I would like to unrecant my previous statement. I'm going down, man. I'm going. I'm. Whoa! You know what? What if you? You know? Hold on. Hold on. Give me. Give me some sweet plays here with Polaroid. I forgot that you can do this. Obviously. Okay. I'll, leave me right there. I'm happy to be right there. Now we're just vibing, man. Pardon me. Pardon me. I gotta tell you, man, I've become a serious soup connoisseur over the past, uh, I don't know, 40 days? No, we've talked about it a little bit. My, my soup recommendation, look, it's not cheap, but in the whole scheme of things, at this grocery store, it, it is cheap. <laughs> it's not cheap in the abstract, but it's, it's cheap uh, in relation to the other things you'll find in the grocery store. Whole Foods chicken noodle soup, if you ever find yourself in need of some chicken noodle soup, but unwilling to uh, make it. We went through this on stream today, but people go like, I would never buy soup. You could just make it yourself so easily. Yeah, that's true, but you might sometimes, you know, find yourself in a position where you made, you know, like four soups in the last uh, six days or something like that. In which case, uh, you might be like, you know what, for tonight, maybe I'll just, I'll pay a little premium to get the, the chicken noodle soup that they have at the grocery store. And instead, I could take like half an hour for myself to just uh, just chill out, just relax a little bit. Definitely found myself paying a little extra for convenience, especially... I've, I've always been a believer in paying for convenience. Just that this one's going to be better. Told you. I've always been a believer in paying for convenience. It gets a bad rap. I'm certainly not at the level, and this is not to besmirch anybody like my colleagues <laughs> who do this, but I'm certainly not at the level of ordering DoorDash for every meal every single day. I like wouldn't be able to look at myself in the mirror, much less look at my credit card receipts at the end of the month. But uh, 
I'll, I'll pay for convenience now and then. Like, I, I'm never gonna, like, make my own pesto, man. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm, that's one of those things where I'm willing to leave that up to the, the pesto makers at, you know, the craft factory or whatever. Doesn't bother me. Maybe it's so much better if you make it yourself, sure. But you know, they, you know what the pesto makers have granted me? They've granted me time. By spending $4 at the grocery store for a jar of pesto, they gave me 20 minutes. That's, pretty, that's not a bad deal in the whole scheme of things. When you need it. And uh, there have been times where I've needed it. I, I would never try to... I, I guess the only... And, and we've gone down this road before as well. But the only thing I would caution against is the the constant, like... It, it just happens in communities online, you know? You, you start... You're like, I enjoy being frugal. I, you know, am more DIY than anybody I know. So you find yourself on our frugal. And before too long, you've been, like swallowed up in the bubble of groupthink and you're you're splitting your two ply two ply toilet paper into one ply right i'm just cautioning you to to remain in the world of the normal don't become that person who like whenever somebody's like you know oh i bought canned beans they're like oh canned beans didn't you know you could just get dried beans for a fraction of the price it's like I was just trying to tell you about the huevos rancheros I made, and now like my, every decision I've ever made in my life is uh, is under attack. We cannot be friends anymore. You make everything about you and your your hobby of feeling superior to people because you spend less money on beans than them. It's too much. So I'm just cautioning you to avoid becoming that person. The kind of person who turns everything into an argument under the delusion the pretense, which is false, and we both know it, that it's making their lives better. You can make suggestions. Why am I even going in here? But, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta know your place. Or know the time and the place, I should say. So that's just my way of finally, like, this is what you have to do on the internet to, to say that I bought, you know, $12 worth of soup at Whole Foods. I know you can make your own soup. I know you don't even need to make soup. You could just um, get a rotisserie chicken from a farm and then uh, cook the rotisserie chicken yourself and then save the bones and then boil those on the weekend while you're doing something else, like making your own pesto, and you could turn that into stock. And then, you know, now that you have the stock, you just need to buy a $75 uh, Le Creuset skimmer. You're going to skim the fat off the top. You're going to put that in your chest freezer. That should run you about $550 from Costco. Sometimes, you know, DIY can be kind of uh, expensive, man. Try to run a pretty lean op uh, operation here. Honestly, uh, I don't know if I should have gone in. Oh, no, we have Holy Mantle. We're totally fine. One of the, one of the reasons I go grocery shopping so much is because... I like when my fridge is clean, and I find the best way to keep your fridge clean is to not have that much food in it. <laughs> and to not be delusional, right? Like, honestly, I know I know you out there, a lot of people are like, it must be nice to go to the grocery store every day. Or alternatively, they go like, well, you must be psychotic going to the grocery store every day. I love it, man. At least, you know, when you can go to a grocery store and walking distance, you don't have to, like, brave the parking lot or anything like that. Just go pick up what you need for, like, dinner and breakfast for the next couple days. It's a great time. But I know, because I've been you, that a lot of the people who are trying to tell me my grocery shopping is unoptimized, if I opened up your vegetable drawer, just a bunch of, like, spinach bags that have been opened had, like, four leaves of spinach taken out of them, and then the rest is just turning into, like, some murky, dark green goo inside of a bag. But you can't bring yourself to throw out the bag even when you see it, because then you would be acknowledging that you're wasting food. In your head, it's like, you know, it's not actually food waste until I have to throw it out. One of the ways that I don't find myself burdened any longer by the half-eaten bags of spinach is when I need uh, some spinach for, like, dinner. I'll go to the store, buy some spinach. I'll use it that night. I know if, they, if I buy spinach and it's like, oh, this is for four days from now, by the time I... Next time I see it is green goo. Let's just put it that way. Maybe maybe you have the discipline to, to save it. That, then I'm like, you know, oh, I meant to cook uh salad today but instead oh i'm a little tired you know let's just order in instead that's green goo that's green goo 
You're basically saying, let's just let this thing in my fridge turn into green goo. So I only get, like, ingredients that I am unlikely to use in a long-term sense if I'm using them immediately that night. Bro, why did I take Cursed Eye? Me sowing? Yes, yes, ah, yes, me reaping. Oh, what the heck? Okay, if you just use your brain, don't worry about Ma the Void. Just send as many of these flies downstream as you can. Everything looks fine, man. It's like a good run. Admittedly, almost all of our damage upgrades come from... Like, literally, uh, our flies, and then also Horror Babylon. They, you might be saying, what about Ma of the Void? Oh, who's gonna tell him? Ma of the Void was too powerful as a C tier item, so it has been, uh, it's had its damage upgrade removed. Which is good because, you know, I always, like, anytime I saw Ma of the Void, I was like, whoa, free win! Wait, no, is it, I'm thinking of the opposite, aren't I? Ma of the Void still was a damage upgrade, thus undermining my original point. However, it no longer gives demon hearts or something like that. That sounds right. Or maybe, it, I don't know. I don't know. We do have lusty blood as well. I mean, I shouldn't be a hater. This is this is emblematic of me being a hater right now. Please. 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 It, how is it possible that it's all bad? I mean, you know what's going to happen here. You know it and I know it. Whoops. <laughs> That's what I meant to do. I'm so used to, uh, I'm so used to it being Q because it's the, you start as Tainted uh, Eve with that, or no, Tainted Samson with that item, right? Or taint, Tainted Apollyon? I actually, I'm just going to be honest with you. I forgot Apollyon was a character for a second. I could say I just misspoke. I did not misspeak. I forgot that Apollyon existed, which is not fair because Apollyon is actually like a pretty cool character. Hello, all you cool cats and kittens. I mean, if you're gonna forget that any character exists, you should forget about, like, you know, regular Lazarus. <laughs> blue baby, etc., etc., tainted blue baby. Like, Apollyon has done nothing wrong. Thank you, Empty Vessel. Thank you, Papa Empty Vessel. We're gonna do this. It's not a difficult run. It's just difficult because of my brain. But I got the utmost faith. Okay, sure, you got me. It's impossible to keep track of you, you got me. Congrats, you must be very proud of yourself. No thank you, no thank you. I got nothing, like, I'm tapped, man. I, you gotta remember, like, real time, I've been recording this episode for like an hour and ten minutes. <laughs> there's, there's nothing in the tank to begin with. I'm only leaving the house to go buy soups. Did I tell you about how my parents got me Subway gift certificates for my birthday? Did I tell you further to the point how I'm freaking pogged that they did? I mean, I, I haven't been to Subway in a while. I always, every weekend, I delude myself. I go, ah, maybe one day this weekend I'll have Subway. Um, but then I don't because, like, I'm just going to be real with you. It tastes okay to me. Like, it, it tastes more like nostalgia than anything else. I'd never say it's, like, you know, universally tasty. But it's just not very good for you. And I'm in this, you know, one of the great things about exercising is in the morning is that for the rest of the day, I find myself kind of like nutritionally galvanized. And I'm like, hey, remember how much you were like sweating during Don't Stop Me Now on that 80s rock ride? Like you, you don't need to eat like an extra piece of bread just cause you're bored. Remember, remember how you did during that 80s rock ride? I think it's actually, you know, it's, it, it's reinforced motivation. But either way, I just I just like knowing that the Subway gift cards exist. Knowing I'll have the opportunity to use them in the future. Because the, the time will come. Maybe, maybe I'll have a friend come over, hypothetically. 
And then I'll be like, hey, want some lunch? And then when they go, hey, here's like, you know, 15 bucks for the sandwich. I'll go, don't worry about it, man. Check it out. Pull out that Subway gift card. Then I'll pay with cash. Because once you lose the gift card, it lo once you use the gift card, it loses all its power is what I mean to say. And I could, I could probably keep that up for like 10 years. They'd be like, the logo's not even the same anymore. I'd be like, no, no, they'll honor it. I come here all the time. They'll honor it. They better. Don't you know how much I spend here? I always feel like I, I see that on r slash subway all the time. Employees complaining that customers will get uppity and then be like, uh, don't you know how much money I spend here? I'm like, dude, that's an own on yourself. You're spending a, you know, like 50 bucks a week at Subway? That doesn't even make a difference to the franchisee, but man, that's got to be hard on you. You're buying 50 bucks worth of ham sandwiches with six lines of mayonnaise? You make them at home for a fraction of the price. Oh no, I've become what I hated. Hey, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm getting out of here. See ya.